I got a sneak peek at Disney Plus's new show, Behind the Attraction, so let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Joe Finley, and today we've got a special one for you. I got a sneak peek at Disney Plus's Behind the Attraction. It's a docu-series featuring the history of some of your favorite attractions across all the Disney theme parks, attractions like Star Tours, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, Jungle Cruise, It's a Small World, Space Mountain, and so many more. There's 10 episodes in all, the durations range anywhere from about 35 to 43 minutes, and it is a really good docuseries. I really liken it to The Toys That Made Us uh, from Netflix. It's got that kind of a pace, that kind of humor, but there's a ton of information in these episodes. A lot of stuff that I didn't know, some stuff I did know. For example, you find out all about the history of It's a Small World and how it actually didn't get built at Disney. It was built at the I'm gonna blank my mouth for spoiler stuff because I don't really know what I'm allowed to give away. The show is produced by Dwayne Johnson and when I saw the show and I saw that, I kind of just blew it off and I'm like, oh, some other guy named Dwayne Johnson. But no, it is Dwayne The Rock Johnson is the producer of this. And it's narrated by Paget Brewster. Uh, you might know her from all sorts of different things, from things like Criminal Minds, Community, uh, Drunk History, all sorts of things like that. She's incredibly funny. She's incredibly talented. She's got a good voice for this sort of thing. What I really loved about each episode is that you got to see not only how the ride came to be but then how it evolved throughout its time in the parks uh, things need to be updated things need to be changed and some whole rides had to be made completely differently in other parks because it wouldn't have tracked the way it did here for example had to be built with a completely different story in japan because they didn't care about its original theme they knew nothing about it so uh it's interesting stuff like that but you actually get to see put into action something that walt disney said and that's true of every single park even the ones that were built after he died but the thing that i think that the show does the best it showcases the stars of disney the imagineers and the things they had to go through to innovate to actually create these rides to adapt to make them better for the visitor. And just overall, they're a really interesting, a little eccentric uh, group of people and their stories are amazing. Going from the original nine old men, as they called them, to the amazing group that they have today that are innovating in ways that are just like out of this world. You go and you see the new things that are happening now, you know, uh, attractions with no tracks anymore. The way that they've done Star Tours where it's basically a different experience every time you get on it. They discuss Walt Disney's fascination with trains and what he almost got done for the whole state of California that never end ended up happening. Not his fault though, by the way. But I really encourage you guys to check out this show, particularly if you're a fan of the Disney parks. It's hard to not be. I mean, if you don't like theme parks in general, which I mean, I feel kind of like, again, a little biased, but Disney kind of transcends theme park to me. But the stories are really interesting. Uh, they've definitely lined it up so they can do more seasons of this. There's so many uh, attractions that haven't even been touched yet from all the different parks. Because remember, we're dealing with Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Tokyo Disney, uh, Tokyo Disney Sea. Uh, Disneyland Paris, Shanghai, Hong Kong, like it goes on and on and on. There's all these different parks and all these different stories to tell. And they're way more interesting than you would think on paper. You would think the story is we wanted to build a ride. We designed it. We built it. It's done. But to accomplish the kind of things that Disney accomplishes is kind of an attraction unto itself. So I do highly recommend that you go check this out. Episodes start appearing on Disney Plus on July 21st. So make sure you go and check those out there. If you want to see a more in-depth review of the show, uh, you can check the links below because I have written an article for cgmagonline.com. So you can find that there. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap that up for this time. Uh, if you did like the video, make sure that you click like, click subscribe, hit the bell, all those things. And keep an eye out for more reviews like this. I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews. Todd will be with me to do some of those reviews and uh, we'll still be doing our regular old episodes. So make sure to keep an eye out for those. Till next time. See you later.